Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizondo and today we're just like hanging out. I thought I would just kind of get some products together. I've got a variety of products. Nothing is like, actually one thing is brand new on the market, but generally I have a mixture of project pan that I'm literally just trying so hard to finish. I really want to finish this bronzer. Um, but then I went to a really nice big price line last week and I just picked up some things that were like piquing my interest. So they're not necessarily new. Like the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I think it's, uh, is it Tara Babies on YouTube loves this. I think it's that one. I've also got the new Rose Ink uh, foundation but I just got a little sample I already know my thoughts on it so but we'll talk about it and I also got the new uh, Too Faced lip injection this is the Christmas one in maple syrup pancakes I've never actually used this um, product before but I loved this color it is like a brownie red shimmer and I just couldn't resist so those are some of the products but we're not really focusing too much on the products today because I want to have a chat with you guys as the title says there's something you might not know about me I mean a lot of you guys know about my life but some of you don't uh, some of you are new or some of you just haven't watched the videos where I've talked about my life but basically I actually own my own business so a lot of you know that I do work at Mecca a couple days a week I also have two children that I take care of so I do kind of part-time work I basically do like three jobs in a way this is kind of a part-time job. I do earn income off of it. So I like have three part-time jobs. It's a little bit overwhelming and then parenting as well. So let's just say four because <laughs> that feels like full-time in itself. So I work at Mecca two days a week and then I also make content. I would say maybe 10 to 12 hours a week. Um, I spend quite a lot of hours on making, editing and uploading content. I would say, let's say 10 hours a week. And then I also have my own business called Fetch Bags. I always have it linked in my description. Sometimes you might have skipped past it. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because I have released new bags. Now, when I say bags, I don't mean like fashion bags. These are reusable, foldable bags. So they come in a little pouch like this. These are just empty pouches. And they sit in your bag, in your car, in your, in your, if you've got big pockets. But basically they're like your everything bag. Like you can just use it for everything. So I always have one on me for those times where I'm like, oh, I need to go pick up. Oh, I forgot to do, oh, those kinds of moments. So I created this brand because I'm doing a little bit of self promo. You just gotta bear with me. Let's just put on some makeup while I do it. I started the brand because I, I've always wanted to work for myself or I've always wanted to do that. But I wanted to have a business that really meant something to me and I just whatever I used to want to do makeup but you need lots of money to start a makeup brand like a lot of money that idea went out the door but I, I'm glad it didn't work out because I now own a business that I really really love it's on it's sustainable because it's a reusable product um, it's high quality product it's made from a ripstop nylon uh, which basically means the material is see it's got that little crisscross pattern it means that it doesn't tear easily I've had mine for like I want to say like two years and I use them every day not even close to breaking down um, and they're huge so we're gonna put on the foundation this is I actually don't know the title of it but it's the new rose ink one let me have a little look this is the soft light skin smoothing liquid foundation and I loved the sounds of it I have an oilier skin type so keep that in mind this is a clean non dead. I can never say this word, non-comedogenic foundation that delivers medium, buildable coverage with a smooth, soft matte finish. It's hydrating, weightless, fluid, powered, bioengineered, complex, complex visibility, that's one word, believe it or not, um, improves brightness and reduces the appearance of redness and pores while minimizing excess oil. No, it's not. They haven't. They've got editing issues in the description. Mecca. Norte, that's three words that are joined together. Um, so reduce the appearance of pores, redness, while minimizing excess oil to keep skin in a balanced state. So Rose Ink is kind of like Cosas where they have their skincare infused makeup that is clean, 
it's more on the natural side but she's got her tinted serum which I froth for so I really want to try this and I, I got the shade 5N I got 3N but I felt like it was just the tiniest bit too light and if I'm gonna swing one way it's gonna be the tiniest bit too dark let's be honest <laughs> so I got 5N I feel like I'm in between the two but there's really good shade range really good shade range um, and I feel like it is a soft matte. It's a really thin formula. It is not thick at all. I have a sponge. I haven't used this with a sponge yet. So I thought I would try it today with a sponge. It's a really lightweight formula. And I do think it is... I feel like it's a light to medium coverage. And it's like one of those foundations if you're oilier. It's really hard to find a really nice light everyday foundation. But it's still got a bit of mattifying to it. So I'm actually really tempted to buy this and the bottle is absolutely stunning. It feels luxury. Like if you're paying luxury, you want to make you want it to feel like luxury. I feel like it does that. So I'm pretty impressed with this and I think I did I think this is the right shade for me. You can see like if I went a shade lighter, it would wash me out. So 5N, if you're like a fair to light. Now it's number five. It doesn't mean that's number five. It's because there's cool tones and warm tones in between those. Get a sample. That's what Mecca's great at, is giving samples. So you can kind of see, should I add a little bit more to see how it covers? But I would say right now we're at a light to medium coverage. Let's do a tiny bit more. I've still got another use in there. So basically we'll probably get three uses out of this. And also we're using a sponge, which takes up some of the product. I definitely think it is buildable. We can kind of say I am getting that more of a coverage. I really liked it with a brush, and now I can say I like it with a sponge. Because sometimes products that are mattifying don't do well with a wet sponge, like damp sponge. It's just the powder and the product doesn't do well, but this is fine. A lot of you ask about my earrings. These are literally from Kmart for $4. They're the Bottega. Veneta dupes. They're a little bit smaller than the, I think the Bottegas are like this big. But for $4, that's in my budget. So basically I'm super, super passionate about my business and that is what I hope to be able to do full time. It's only one year old, it's a small baby. And in that first year, I was really about me learning and trying to get my name out there. So I had no expectation of just like blowing up and being this huge business sensation. But really focusing on learning how to run my own business like it's not easy it's not easy to do um my concealer is just my project pad and it's a discontinued item so we're not going to worry about that sorry my neighbors keep walking past but we need airflow and then i forget what i'm talking about um because i have to be quiet so <laughs> yeah so my first year i was just kind of focusing on that i did markets but i've realized it's not really working out for me it's Markets are really expensive to hold to hold a stall nowadays. I don't know. I could go on for an hour about it, but it's just I I didn't think it was worth my time. So I decided to invest that money I was spending on a market stall into online advertising, which is I'm still figuring it out. Like advertising and marketing is not easy. Um, but being that I am already doing content creation, I am not so unfamiliar with it it's just about doing it in a totally different way it's in like product marketing rather than marketing myself like i can market myself easy but marketing a product is a little bit harder anyway i want to show you my two new designs you kind of already saw them but basically we've got me to come back we've got these two this is the pink hearts bag and it is two shades of pink We've got like a lighter pink and a more richer pink. And right now, I'm doing this video now because we have a sale. These are usually $15 each, which in itself is a bargain if you ask me. Um, but I'm doing a $10 sale and I've never done a sale like this before. All of our bags are $10. So this is the Flower Pop bag. And these are all designed by me. I do everything myself. I just don't make it. I get it manufactured, but I design the bag myself so these are super cute i'm so in love with them so you also get free shipping over 50 dollars. so i would get them while they're hot because i'm not doing black friday sale um, i've decided to do this instead 
and then I'm going away so I will be closing down for a month in December early December so if you are interested now is the time to order and I'll be taking orders up until the day the day before I leave because I'm right near the post office so I can easily do orders but they just go in like that it's that easy they're my babies I also have I'm gonna show pictures as I'm talking but I also have what I call swankies which are hankies like swanky hankies uh, some people get it some people don't like swanky means like old-time glamour like swank oh, they're a bit swanky swanky hankies but some people don't get it so so I just often call them handkerchiefs but I'm trying to bring them back guys I'm trying to bring them back and Basically, I, my long-term goal for my business is to be like a reusable accessories brand. So I'm starting with reusable bags. I've just ventured out into handkerchiefs, um, but reusable bags will be the focus. Um, I'm going to try and establish that first. And these two designs that I just showed are actually my first prints because I'm not a graphic designer. I'm teaching everything myself. I've learned everything myself. Yeah, I did those prints myself. I learned how to do it. And I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Which is not easy. It's actually really hard. <laughs> okay, a little bit of bronzer, just a little bit. What I am gonna do is a little bit of powder. So we're gonna get my essence powder. So yeah, that's kind of me. I and just all over the place which is probably why my videos are sometimes chaotic because my life's a bit chaotic very grateful not complaining but it's just I feel like I'm always doing something which is my personality anyway I kind of am one of those people that's always doing something um, but yeah I'm everywhere and everywhere all at once so here is the powder and we'll do a little bit under my eyes so I don't think I have any more cream products. I think that's it. These, Essence is still one of the only brands that's like still super cheap. I got an eyebrow pencil for $4.50. I don't know, actually, no, this one was $6.50 because it was a better shade, but still. The one that was $4.50 I wanted, but they the shades were too dark. But this one I think might be okay. So I decided to get the $6.50 one. Lash out, you know, I think this was like, between four and six dollars like everything was really affordable and then I got this from Essence as well because it's really tiny I'm hoping that I can travel with it it's a fix and last makeup fixing spray instant matte effect and waterproof free from oil and alcohol so that sounds like it's really suitable to what I look for in a setting spray I don't need to do too much powder over the perimeters because I've got powder bronzer but that looks really nice. I'm looking quite blurred if I do say so myself. Nice. I still look like a potato, but that's not the powder's fault. My um, project pan, you may have noticed I finished my blush. I've been working real hard for this, but I really want to finish this bronzer. And I think I will. It's just sometimes you just don't know how long it's going to take. But I'm determined because I'm not going to be here for the month of December. i got to finish my project pen now. I basically got three weeks. So I've been going hard on certain products like my foundation, my concealer, the these powders here. And I finished, no, I haven't finished a lip product, but I've almost finished a lip product. So I'm pretty determined just to finish a few things by the end of the year so that I can film that video I do of um, showing you how much makeup I finish in a whole year. So I've been doing this new technique. I don't know if I'm sure other people do it. I don't think it's revolutionary. But basically sometimes I feel like highlighter is too heavy but I do love a glow. So I've been putting my highlighter on first. So I've got a little blush brush here. If, that's if I'm using a matte blush, by the way. If I'm using a glowy blush, then I'm not doing this. But I'm gonna put it on first. And then we're gonna put the matte blush over it. And just to get some usage out of this, I'm also putting it over my eyes. 
and giving my eyes a nice glow. I'm just trying to use it, you know, so I've had it for literally years. But highlighters just take forever to use. And I don't use highlighters every day. I probably use them like once a week, if I'm honest. Okay, and then the blush that I have. Oh, okay, so the blush that I have, this is last year's Mecca Max palette, face palette. It pretty much looks exactly the same this year. So I thought I would use it. The eyeshadows, everything looks pretty similar. It's just going to be different packaging. So I thought I would use it because, like, if you like the idea of this, I think they're still available. Um, and I'm going to use this uh, blush. Now, they looks like there might be ever so slight shimmer, but it's almost matte. So we're going to go in with this one. I really like this foundation, by the way. It just looks so natural on my skin. Like, it looks like it's my skin. It's really nice. And then with that powder that's like mattified and blurred, my skin looks like put together, but still really natural because it's not a thick foundation. So if you do want to support my business, and, but you can't buy any bags, you can even sign up to my email. So when you click on my website, a pop-up comes up for a free hanky, swanky hanky, when you sign up with your order. Um, and you can use that code, it doesn't expire. Uh, when you are ready to order and then you're a part of my subscription list which I would absolutely love your support with I don't send out a million emails more so during the sale season but otherwise I don't send emails out unless it's like a new product or yeah I'm not I mean I'm at the end of the day it's just me and I have other things to do so I don't email all the time but it is a good way to get that information because you can often get lost in social media, especially Instagram and the algorithm. A lot of people that follow me don't even see my posts. Like I see the reach and it's like so low. So emails are a good way to stay in touch. And that way it's like you're part of the community and it makes me feel really good. I would just love that kind of support. But also perfect gifts. I've had people been ordering these in multiples. Um, I just did an order where they ordered three of each bag and six swankies to give out as gifts um, because they're perfect. They're perfect little Kris Kringle gift or um, just like you want to give a friend, gift to your friend but you don't want to spend $20 on each friend or $50 on each friend. $10, to 15, $10 now but if the sale's not on, it's still only $15 per person and it's a gift of a lifetime. Like it's super, super useful. So yeah, this looks so nice. This is looking great. Um, so yeah, that's my business. I love it so dearly. I hope you would love it too. And I have big plans for next year. I already have a product that's arrived that I'm releasing early next year. And I am making more designs and samples of more prints. I'm going to be focusing on prints because my launch collection was just... Um, I'll show you a picture. It's called the Groceries Collection. Um, I'm going to do my brows. This is with the e.l.f. Not the e.l.f. The Essence Wow What a Brow pen in light brown. Um, yeah, so next year, my plan is to kind of release two bags at a time. That's kind of what I can afford. And um, I have a good manufacturer. And I'm really happy with them. Their communication's really good. We had a few hiccups, but, you know, they've tried their best to work with me. So I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, that's my plan. I have some plans to have like different themes of bags too. Like, I don't know, should I be telling you? I guess I could tell you because you don't know what the designs look like. But I want to do like a picnic theme, like bags that you could see yourself, like inspired by picnic, like just like, I don't know, like the color palettes and all of that. So let's try this. Eyebrow pencil. The reason why I bought this is because I'm almost out of eyebrow pencils. And that never happens. Powered through them this year. Oh, that looks like a good colour. Light brown. Because a lot of e.l.f. products, uh, eyebrow products, I find they're a little... e.l.f. Essence, sorry. I find them to be on a little bit on the darker side. Like, even this is their lightest shade. And it's already darker than my actual brow. But I think I can just get away with it. 
Okay, and then just to set them, I have the Quick Flick Quick Brow. This is the Brow Sculpting Lamination Gel. Oh, I haven't done my eyeshadow yet. Well, it's not really a big focus. I was just going to use the Mecha Max palette that I had. I'm just really excited to use this lip. Why don't we set my face before I do my eyes? Sometimes I like to do that. With the Essence, not Elf. The Essence Fix and Last 18 Hour Makeup Fixing Spray. Mattifying long wear. That's what I want. And if I'm going to be in Nigeria for a month, I'm going to need something that helps me not sweat. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. The first spray was not good, but thereafter was fine. That's a video I need to film very soon is everything that I've packed for my month long holiday. So that will be coming. I've been trying to bulk film. And end of year is a busy time for filming in um, on YouTube. Cause it's like, I don't think I'm gonna have time to do favorites. Maybe in the new year I will. Um, okay, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. It's pretty basic. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little basic look while we talk. But from memory, these were pretty okay. Like. Mecha Max eyeshadow slays. It really does. So I kind of know it's going to be good. But I know I have used this before. And I think from memory I did like it. But I'm going to be pretty simple today. Because I want it to be all about my lippy lip. Yeah, can you believe it? I work at Mecha and I've never used a lip injection. Oh, and I forgot to add. I do ship internationally. It's just the shipping is a little bit more expensive. But I will do free shipping over $100 orders. I do mainly just target Australia, but I will ship internationally because I can. Okay, let's take a little bit of that deeper shade, just a little. I'll have my website linked below, but I'll also have my Instagram and my TikTok because I am active on both. I would so love a follow. Share with your friends as well. Sharing is caring. Honestly, a lot of my a lot of my sales come from word of mouth, like someone who's used the bag and recommended it, and then that person buys, and then they love it, and then they tell someone else. Like that's that is the cycle of business, and I love it. So word of mouth is super cool, and I mean that's what I do. If I love something, I tell everyone. It's hello. It's what I do for a living. Um, we're gonna use this kind of brownie bronzy shade. And it's basically the same color as this lip. I'm going in pretty lightly though. I don't want to have a heavy eye. Yeah, this is such a pretty palette. And I haven't used the one this year from Mecca Max, but it's going to be the same. I'm pretty confident it's going to be the same. It looks the same. And their, like I said, their eyeshadow formula is already good. So they know what they're doing. And this is just really nice. And I think they're pretty affordable. Mecca Max is very affordable. Beautiful. I'm going to quickly do some eyeliner off camera and then we'll come back with mascara. So with mascara, I actually got sent a mascara from Rimmel. Uh, so open me for bold, instant bold volume. Okay, yeah. if I must. I love getting little pale packages. I'm not gonna lie, I, do, I love it. It makes me a little bit giddy. I'm like, oh, what did I get from Rimmel? Cause I didn't know this was coming. So this is the new Thrill Seeker Pitch Black Mascara. Now I have the original, the Wonder Volume. And I was like, what's the difference here? I saw they brought out a waterproof one, but this one here is the Thrill Seeker Pitch Black. So our number one mascara has had an upgrade, now infused with ultra black pigments, giving even bolder volume. So it looks a little bit different. It's black as opposed to red. Uh, dramatic length and extra depth for your eye look. Creamy whipped formula, lash loving panthenol, leaving lashes feeling conditioned. $24.95, available at Priceline, Chemist Warehouse and Big W. Okay, great. So with that, I'm actually going to wear the original because I have so many mascaras open right now. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And I've been working on this one. So when I finish this one, I will open this one. But I wanted to show you guys anyway that um, it's blacker than 
the original. But I mean, the original looks pretty black to me. And I really like this mascara. I use it all the time. I think when it comes to mascaras, you can just go to Priceline, Affordable, Drugstore, Chemist, whatever you call it. I think they're just as good. I mean, there are some expensive ones that I definitely recommend, like Hourglass. But if you don't want to spend $50 on a mascara, you don't have to. You really don't have to. And this one is a really nice one. I actually used this in my last video where I did uh, a lot of Rimmel and my Sephora haul. Because Rimmel has been sending me a lot of stuff, which I ain't complaining about. Because it's really nice to be able to try products that I haven't tried before. And Rimmel is a brand that I hadn't actually tried that much. Like I had this mascara, but I think I might have a lip liner. But I think that was kind of all that I had. But even they sent this to me because I did work with them. So I do like that aspect of being able to try things I, I wouldn't normally. Because then I can recommend things to you. Because I am a little bit of a creature of habit. When I find a brand that I love, I tend to just gravitate towards that. And I shouldn't do that. I should be trying new things. Anyway, the original's great, but they have now a blacker version and a waterproof version of the same one. Uh, do I need anything from here? Oh, I didn't do my little contour. But that's okay, because we're focusing on the bronzer. I do have a perfume. I bought a perfume. Shh. Don't say anything. <laughs> okay, my lip liner is... Oh, okay. That wasn't planned. I was just trying to find something that would be a good color. I've brought two. I'm going to swatch the lip product because I wasn't too sure what lip liner to do because it's not red. It's not brown. It's like... I don't know how sheer it is. I blind bought this. I don't even know what the swatch was like. So yeah, this is the maple syrup pancakes. Apparently it smells like it. That is a bit of me. Oh, it smells like straight up maple syrup. It really does. That's not why I bought it. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Nice sheer ready tint. I think I'm gonna love it. In that case, I think I am gonna go for the Essence lip liner. Yeah, I've got the Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. Oh, my way, it's on the sticker. I hate it when drugstores do that. They don't put it on the product, they only put it on the sticker, so you gotta keep the sticker on. My way. I also wanted to say, I know a lot of you guys have bought my bags, which I will forever be grateful for. And I would love for you to write in the comments your thoughts on my bags and let the others know. Because I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face. But at the end of the day, it's my brand. So, of course, I think it's great. But it is great. It is. <laughs> but if you have bought from me and you're watching this video and you've made it to the end, I would love for you to write in the comments your thoughts and how you use my bag. For me, I use mine as my lunch bag for work because I can fit my work apron, my water bottle, my lunch. Um, I could put my handbag in it. And if I need to stop by Woolies or Coles on the way home, I have it, I put it in the bag because it fits so much. And I'm actually going to insert a photo. All the girls at work have bought my bags and they love them. And it brings me so much joy that so many girls come into work with their fetch bag. And there's just like where we all put our what our bags for the day is on like these shelves. And this is only a couple of them, but on a Thursday where there's more staff on a Thursday because of the longer hours, you just see like five or six people's bags in my colorful fetch bags. And it brings me so much joy. Like it makes me so happy. Like when I brought out these two bags, I had to bring a whole bunch of them to work so many of the girls wanted to buy them and it's just it was really cool and I, I love the girls that I work with anyway let's go in with this I've heard no one talking about this I was like this color brownie red hello hmm it's really really smooth oh I forgot it's gonna burn isn't it Oh, this is the Maximum Plump. Oh, this is the one that's more than the extreme. Oh, this is gonna burn. This is really gonna burn. The only plumping one I really use, like actual burning plumping, is the Fenty. So if it's like that, I can handle it. 
said, isn't that beautiful? And I was like, this is limited edition. So this is the, la the only time I can buy it. Oh, this is my color. I love it. I'm burning. My lips are burning. But as we talk, I'll let you know how I'm going. If I feel like I'm going to survive or not. Oh my God, my perfume. Can't forget perfume. I got the new Libre from YSL. And I got it from work. Because YSL you can get online at Mecca, not in store. This is the Le Parfum, which is a new version. So they have the toilet, the parfum. They've got all the different versions. Anyway, this is the latest one. And it's a lot deeper, more nighttime, spicier. I got the 30 mil because I do not need a 50 mil. But you can even see it's much darker than the original Libre. I think there's four or five Libre versions now. Anyway, this is the more spicy nighttime one. So there is the Libre Eau de Parfum, which is the original. Libre Eau de Parfum Intense. Then there is the Libre Le Parfum, which is what I have here. Then there is the Libre Eau de Toilette. That's it. This is a luxurious warm floral fragrance. We have notes of lavender, orange blossom, saffron. That's all it says? No, it's definitely more than that. Okay, so it's YSL's most intense and long lasting floral perfume. It certainly is. I went into Maya to smell it because I bought this online so I couldn't smell it. And she sprayed on my arm here because I was already wearing perfume. One spray here. It was still so strong when I went to bed. It's long lasting. So let's do it. I'm not wearing any perfume today, waiting for this moment. Oh, that one spray is huge. I think I'm just going to do one spray because I'm at home. <laughs> I don't need two sprays. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, I love it. This is going to be up there with my, my favorite date nighttime perfume is Mason Francis Cotajan Oud Satin Mood. This is up there with it. Oh, it's so delicious. I love it. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging around, uh, sticking with me, talking about myself and my business. But, you know, I love it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. And that's the video. I'll have everything linked down below that I spoke about, put on my face, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.